Hey, welcome back, YouTube. It's Kareem here. So uh, today I actually had my first sales call. So I'm just going to break down a little bit of like my process on the road to building an SMMA agency from the bottom to uh, 12K a month here. I'm out here in Brooklyn, New York City, by the way. Um, so today I actually, I was out there on um, Upwork and I usually do my daily, just go ahead and see if I can get some social media management clients. And I actually do like my 15 a day, just been pretty consistent with it. Um, just picked it up the other day. And today I actually managed to get a call with somebody on Zoom um, out there in Florida. And it wasn't the actual person who does it. It was because it's a guy and he does, um, I'm looking at their website right now. It's, uh, he does a few things, but mostly he does um, restoration because you know how it is out there in Florida. Like, you know, a hurricane will blow through and everything will flood. And then after the flood, it'll mold and plus the roof collapsed. And, you know, so I think, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately for them, he's in a good business. But, yeah, you know, um, he also does fire and smoke damage, which I'm sure goes part and parcel with everything else I just mentioned. So we were just doing a call. Um Here's a giveaway, though. I didn't actually close. You know, it's just my first sales call doing that there on Zoom. Um, my background is more in um, drop shipping, so you know, or just um, doing hand-to-hand -hand sales, just picking something up for a dollar over here and selling it for like fifty bucks over there. You know what I mean? So it's like completely new to me to do services, and it's like, oh man, is you just got to go through like that script and you're sitting here reading things out and then you get lost, at least I definitely did. And I forgot to record the call in the first place. I'm like, oh man, I could have learned a lot there. But um, it didn't go too bad, you know. She didn't actually turn her camera on or anything. I'm not going to name any names or name any businesses. Um, but yeah, she was on there. I think we spent like a solid 30 minutes. It was um, close to 10 o'clock this morning. And um I was just asking some questions. It was like, so how's your social media going now? And I looked at it and, you know, it's the usual you see like local businesses do. And this is my niche, by the way. I'm going into local service businesses. And this actually just gave me, a, you know, like a little bit of an idea. But in the meantime, um, because, you know, it to scale up, to start like really pumping out the outreach that you got to pump out, I'm just doing the little Upwork stuff just to go ahead and like just get a little bit more cash flow currently so I can start hiring appointment setters, i.e. people to go and um, schedule up or not even schedule up, people to go out and um, <clears throat> I mean, I'll probably just cut this part out. People, so, so appointment setters, basically what you do is you get people to go ahead and um, do outreach for you, basically. So appointment setters, like, um, cold email and things like that to get qualified leads. You teach them how to like get a list, scrape a list, make a list, however the heck they do it. And then just go ahead and reach out to people. And so, um, yeah, I was doing some outreach on Upwork, did my normal a day, only doing 15 a day, 100 a week. You know what I mean? Scaling it up because it takes a while. Like just those 15, like I think I could just bang that thing out really quick, but it ends up taking me close to like two hours, man. Like it really does. You know, but, you know, it was pretty cool to just, you know, get that sales call in again. I, like I didn't record it, but, you know, just asking the basic questions is like, OK, so how do you want to scale this thing up? And one thing I've noticed is that because she actually looked at I was like, OK, so what's the archetype? Like, what do you want your social media to look like? You know what I mean? Like, and you know, I wasn't selling on any features or anything. It's like, well, we're going to be posting consistently for the every day or I'm going to be doing this or I'm going to be doing that. It's like, no, it's like, hey, look, you know, they already get the whole free up their time thing. It's just like, like, where do you want to be? Like, what what's your audience? And this guy, his company, like he does so many different things. He wears so many different hats. He's doing fire alarms. He's doing flooding. He's doing mold. It's like they don't really have a clear offer. You know what I mean? We get it. It's like home restoration, you know, plus he's just like a general contractor on top of all of that. And it's like really getting like anything like really specific. And then we'll go on the website and all the links are broken and stuff. You know, it's one of those things I see like there's opportunity there in these local service businesses. I know everybody is jumping into e-commerce, but it's like, okay, 
well, what if we do just a little bit different? What if we just jumped into service businesses, you know? I think there's a little bit of um opportunity there. Like, I don't know. It's just my first call. Again, I didn't close. Just went into the ins and outs of it. And then, you know, towards the end, like, no, to me, it was no pressure at all, man. Like, I really wasn't. Um, I think I was a little unprepared, honestly. Like, I didn't really get everything together, maybe I, the way I should have. Um, however, I'm working on that. Um, definitely, I know I said this yesterday, you gotta start jumping into exactly what I'm doing, but you know, I did explain that a little bit there, Upwork, you know, I don't want to ramble too much and go on and on and on about it, but yeah, first sales call today on, um, getting a social media management client at least, again, on Upwork, um, not really looking to freelance it, just gonna go ahead, you know, I hit her at the end with the, you know, 800 a month, and, um, you know, and then I get like, ah, yeah, you know, I'll let you know later today. And wasn't really pushing for a close, man. I was just happy to be there. I was just happy some, I'm just happy they showed up. Because I think she was like at the last minute at the time. Or like maybe as soon as the time switched, she, from like the minute she was supposed to be on the call. Let's say she was supposed to be on a 10. And just like a split second after it changed to 10.01, she, you know, somebody's in the um the waiting room or whatever. So, Hey man, just gotta go ahead and um, I don't know. See how this journey goes, and um, we're not stopping until we hit the goal, which is the first one, twelve k a month, and then we're just gonna go from there. But yeah, um, subscribe if you want to continue to see this content as we all grow together, and yeah, see you guys later.